What's up everybody? My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improved mine. And in this video, I wanted to share how this book forever changed how I think about sleep. Let's get started. So I used to not give sleep that much thought until I came across Matthew Walker on the Joe Rogan podcast. Matthew is a scientist who's been studying sleep for 25 years. And this book is essentially a summary of everything that he learned over his career. And since reading this book, I've really made sleep a priority in my life. And that's probably because of all the crazy statistics that are in this book. For example, Matthew starts out the book by saying, routinely sleeping less than six or seven hours a night demolishes your immune system more than doubling your risk of cancer, which is a scary enough statistic in and of itself. But aside from doing a good job at explaining the harmful effects of inadequate sleep, Matthew also does a really good job at providing practical recommendations for how to improve your sleep. Specifically, he gives 12 tips for healthy sleep, and I've actually included these tips down in the description of this video. So there are a few parts of this book that I found really interesting. The first was the link between our immune systems and sleep. The author explains that when we are asleep, our bodies are able to use our immune systems to their full potential. But if we are not getting enough sleep, our bodies have less time to fight off whatever infection or disease that we might be dealing with. This is also why we get tired when we fall sick because our immune systems want us to go to sleep so that it can work at its full capacity. The following is a quote that I found absolutely fascinating. A reduction in certain immune cells could still be observed a year later in the participants after just a minor short dose of sleep restriction. This means that the effects of sleep restriction on our immune system can still be measured a year later after the sleep restriction took place. In order to keep our immune systems functioning at their best, the author recommends getting between seven to nine hours of sleep every night. The second part of this book that I found interesting has to do with REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement, and it's the point in our sleep where dreams occur. It combines our experiences of the day with our past experiences and builds our model of how the world works. REM sleep is crucial for innovative insights, strengthening problem solving skills, and fueling creativity. It also plays a role in our emotional intelligence and getting sufficient REM sleep night after night helps us regulate our emotions and remain level-headed. There's a figure in this book that shows you how much REM sleep you get at different points of the night. And you'll notice that during the last sleep cycle, you get a significant portion of your REM sleep. And this is why it's so detrimental to get less than seven hours of sleep a night because you miss out on that significant portion of REM sleep. It's also cool to note that REM sleep is the sleep stage that is right before you wake up. That's why it always feels like you were just dreaming right before you wake up, because you were. The last part of this book that I found really interesting was the effects that different substances have on our sleep, mainly alcohol and caffeine. The author explains how alcohol causes brief awakenings that disrupt and lower the quality of our sleep. He also describes how alcohol is the most powerful suppressor of REM sleep that we know of, also suppressing the benefits that REM sleep has to offer. Caffeine tricks us into feeling awake after we take it, and especially tired during the crash. It's an extremely powerful drug that messes with our natural sleep cycle. The author talks about how people commonly use caffeine to self-medicate sleep deprivation. If you can't perform optimally before noon without having caffeine, then you are likely one of these people. And although the author doesn't talk about it in this book, I did want to mention 
that my sleep really improved once I quit smoking cannabis. Cannabis, like alcohol, also suppresses your REM sleep or your dream sleep and reduces the quality of your overall sleep. If you want to learn how I quit smoking for good, check out this video up here. This book really helps underline the significant and essential role that sleep plays in our overall health. And once you understand why sleep is so important, it becomes a lot easier to make it a priority in your life. This book helped me personally develop and maintain quite a good sleep schedule. In fact, the only thing that I still struggle with is going to bed and waking up at the same time every day but I'm always sure to get at least eight hours of sleep every night. If you want to buy yourself your own copy of this book, then check out the first link in the description. So that's it. I hope you learned something new and found this video valuable. Let me know what you do to sleep better down in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you get notified every week when I upload. Thanks again and have a great day. Peace!